guys in this video let us learn to perform projections with the database from a spring boot application using spring data jpa projections can be achieved in four different ways one is using dto as classes that is data transfer object as classes the second one is using dto as interfaces one other way is using spring expression language there is one more category called as entity projections which can be used when you want to perform projections between the associated classes okay fine now let us learn how to perform projections using these three categories for our application let us work with the domain model product one important thing that you need to notice over here is when you are using the spring boot version go in for a version which is less than 2.6 that is in case of 2.6.3 there is a bug so you cannot perform projection using dto as interfaces so if you want to perform projection using the second category you need to go in for a version less than 2.63 that is you can go in for 2.5.2 or you can go in for a spring boot version 2.5.9 Okay fine now let us start working with the application let me open spring tool suit let me create the application file new spring starter project the application name is spring data jpa projections type is maven packaging jar group id is product app dot dast package is com dot product app click next now here when you are selecting the spring boot version you will be getting the latest version as 2.6.3 there is a bug in 2.6.3 when you are using dto as interfaces you will be getting an exception so to avoid that you can go in for versions lesser than that so i am selecting 2.5.9 now select the appropriate dependencies that you want we need lombok mysql driver spring data jpa I don't need Spring Web because I am not going to show you as a Spring REST API. Here the idea over here is we need to learn projections, so this is going to be a console-based application. Click Finish. The application is getting created. Let me open it. Now here I need the model package, service package, repository package with the appropriate classes and interfaces. So first, let me add all those. and on top of it we will perform the projections part my project setup is ready in the model package i have the product class and i have added the appropriate annotations at entity and lombok specific annotations and also here you can see the properties product id product name price brand and category i am also having a table with the name product in the database so the mapping is between the product class and the product table the next one is the service layer in the service layer i have the product interface i have not written any methods we will write the methods in the repository and modify this interface accordingly i also have the implementation class in the implementation class i have auto wired product repository in product repository i am extending jpa repository which takes product and integer fine now let us start with the projections part the first projection that i want to do is when i give the brand i want to get the product details that is the product name and price so if you think in terms of sql query our query will be select product name comma price from product where brand equal to question mark 1 this is a projection query if you give select star from product where brand equal to question mark 1 you can achieve this either using derive query or using custom query but here i don't want to retrieve all the columns i want to retrieve only one or two columns so in our case i want to retrieve product name and price so to achieve this projection let us first start with dto data transfer object as classes this particular class should have the properties as the column names that you want to retrieve from the table so the dto class should have product name and price let us create it in the same model package let me create a class with the name 
product details dto to perform projection using classes you need to follow certain rules this class should have the properties that are pointing to the columns in the database should have the same properties or same instance variable like the domain model in our case to perform the projection we need the product name and price so let me add that string product name double price also this class should have only parameterized constructor for these instance variables so let me add a parameterized constructor go to source generate constructors using fields generate and the next rule is this class should have only getter methods for this instance variables for these instance variables let me add the getter methods also go to source generate getters and setters select the getter method alone and click generate again this class also should have a two string method let me generate the two string also go to source generate two string click generate so this is the data transfer object which is created as a class this dto has product name and price so if you want to perform projection if you want to retrieve only particular columns create a dto class with the properties that are pointing to those columns in our case product name points to product name column price property points to price column so you need to create a class with those properties add parameterized constructor add getter methods and two string that's it done now let us go to product repository here we will write the derived query find by brand string brand the return type is list of product details dto this time we are not giving list of product if we give list of product the corresponding sql query is select star from product where brand equal to question mark 1 here i don't want to get all the columns i want to get only the specific columns so give product details dto import it fine now let us add the same method in the service interface also this is projection using dto as class okay implement the method in product service impl now here it is product repository dot find by brand by passing the brand okay now let me go to the main class in the main class already i have implemented command line runner and overridden run method auto wire i product service i am using field based auto wiring now let us call the method before that let me show you the product table that is there in the database i have got few records also guys already i have created the product table and added the values while working with another application now we will perform projection in this particular table only let me select the brand name here i have classmate okay now let us call the method product service dot find by brand by passing classmate dot for each here actually it is not product it has to be product details dto what you are returning is a list of product details okay arrow method body now say so product details dot get product name plus i will give a tab space plus then say so product details dot get price let me save this okay one more part that is missed out is we need to add application dot properties so let me copy it from the previous application my database name is relation db and i already have given update now let me run the application run a spring boot app click okay now 
now here you can see the output i am getting the product name and the price for a particular brand classmate remove this print so this is the output that is i am getting the product name and the price for the brand classmate so this is how you perform projection we will try to do one more projection also so first let me start with product repository let us try one more projection also this time if i give the product name i need to get the brand and the category details say for example if i give the product name as mobile then it has to give the brand and also the category to which it belongs so let us write the sql query for that select category comma brand from product where product name equal to question mark right okay so if i try to do the same thing in mysql command line where product name as mobile it has to return only one single record category is gadgets brand is samsung so i want to achieve this for this let us create another dto class in the model package right click new class let me give the dto class name as product brand dto click finish this is also projection using dto as class the query is select brand comma category from product where product name equal to question mark so the properties for this class should be string brand string category the instance variable name should be same as that of the domain model in the domain model also i am having the instance variable names as brand and category add parameterized constructor generate getter methods generate to string right now the dto class is ready let me go to the repository here let us write the derived query find by product name by passing string product name this is going to return only one single object so the return type will be product brand dto now we will copy this and add it to the service interface so here you can either have it as find by or get by i always prefer to use get by in the service and find by in the repository layer but because i have given find by for the first method here also let us have it as find by we will implement it in product service impl call the method of the repository product repository dot find by product name by passing the product name save it now come to the main class let us call the method from the main class product service dot find by product name by passing mobile that's what i am having here mobile the return type is one single object only so the return type is product brand dto details equal to product service dot find by product name the next line try to print the brand and category brand plus details dot get brand because we are having getter methods in the dto class again next one is category details dot get category now let me run the application here we have got the output brand is samsung category is gadgets so this is how you perform projections in a database from a spring boot application using dto as classes so here we have used dto as classes in the next video we will see how to use dto as interfaces that's it thank you